Are you excited to try out some new features on Daedalus Flight? Well, we're excited to show you how. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're going to take a look at Daedalus test counterpart, Daedalus Flight. We'll take a look at what it is, where you can find it, and how you can get set up. Let's jump in. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come to Cardano.org. You could go to the Daedalus website directly, but I honestly just prefer coming to the Cardano website and jumping off from here. So we'll go to Cardano.org. We'll come here to Individuals, and then I'll click on Daedalus Wallet. So that's going to open up the Daedalus website. Again, if you want to go directly, here it is, DaedalusWallet.io. We'll recognize this site as the same one that we came to when we installed Daedalus originally, but now we're going to click on here where it says Flight. So that's going to pull up the Flight page, and it tells us a little bit about what Daedalus Flight is. So Daedalus Flight is the new pre-release version of the Daedalus Wallet. Right, so this is the whole reason why we're here, right? We want to try out some of these new features before they make it to the official Daedalus release. But this is a very important caveat to keep in mind. Flight candidates are still working on the mainnet, and therefore, you'll be transacting with real ADA. And it's so important they reiterate it on the next line. Transactions made using Daedalus Flight will be real ADA transactions. So again, keep in mind, we are using a test wallet that has test features and functionality or maybe new layout, but the network that we're on is the main net. This is not the test net, and anything that you do here will be transacting as a real transaction with the network. You just happen to be using a wallet that is still under development. They say, we recommend only using Daedalus Flight if you're a more technically competent member of the community and you're familiar with Daedalus and other crypto wallets. So if you're relatively new to the Cardano project or cryptocurrency in general, maybe you want to pause here and then come back when you feel a little bit more comfortable. But for those of you thinking, nope, I'm in the right place, then let's continue. We'll continue scrolling down here and we see we get to the download section, similar to how we did before with the original Daedalus wallet. I'm going to go to Daedalus Flight for Mac. I'm going to download it to my desktop. Once it's done, I'm going to go through the installation process. When it's done, I'm going to open up Daedalus Flight from my dock. Okay, so on this screen here, it's going to give us another warning. Transactions made using Flight will be using real ADA payments and will really be on the mainnet. This disclaimer here is not very long, guys. I recommend you actually do sit down and read through this and make sure that you understand and agree to everything that's here. And if you do, we're going to hit I understand. And now we're going to need this to sync up with the blockchain the same way that we did when we installed Daedalus the first time. I was letting this sync up in the background, but when you download it, it's going to start from 0% the same way your Daedalus wallet did, and it's going to need to sync all the way up. So it can take a few hours for it to go through the process. But for us here, we're already pretty close. So when it gets to 100%, we'll be able to get in and finish setting up. Okay, so now that we're all synced up, the next thing we're going to need to do is get our wallet set up. You can either, if you'd like, make a brand new Daedalus software wallet just for your test wallet here, you can restore one if you have a previous Daedalus wallet by using the 24-word passphrase, or you can pair a hardware wallet. We're not going to go into the details of how to do these different steps. If you're curious about that, check out our video on setting up Daedalus from scratch, where we go through all of these in a lot more detail. But we're going to assume that at this point, you already know how to do that. So we're using a Ledger Nano X, so we're going to pair the hardware wallet. Um, at this point, you go ahead and set up your wallet however it is that you did previously, and then we'll meet back here. All right, so if we take a look around, we'll see that we have access to all the same features as we did on Daedalus. Plus, we'll now have access to whatever it is that the test release feature was that we were here for in the first place. In this case, when we filmed it, it was right after multi-asset support came out on the Gogan Mary release. So we'll see we have access to tokens now. But depending on when you're coming and checking out Daedalus Flight, your new feature should be here as well. And one more thing to keep in mind, especially if you're going back and forth between Daedalus and Daedalus Flight, is if you're ever confused, you'll always know what wallet you're in by checking down here. Flight will always have this banner that tells you that you're on the Cardano mainnet, but that you're using Daedalus Flight. If any of the steps that we went through in getting set up were kind of quick, or you feel like maybe you're not as up to date on what Daedalus is as you should be, check out our previous video that goes into step by step on how to get you set up on Daedalus and everything about all the features in the wallet. Or if you already feel like a Daedalus pro, check out one of our other recent uploads. We'll see you in the next video.